everybody, this is Praxis. Today and tomorrow are kind of rainy. It's a little drizzly here and there, but I did get out this morning and I was, I think it's gonna start raining again. Uh, I was able to do some, I was able to sheath up some of this wall here. Uh, there's a couple things I wanted to talk about the way I did this. This is a uh, tongue and groove board. No, it's not, it's shiplap board. I'm sorry, they're similar, but not the same thing. This is shiplap board, uh, which means that there's kind of like an overlap thing here. Now, normally what, what you're supposed to do and what I've done in the past is you have those things actually overlap. I didn't do that here. I left it so that there's, instead of them being right together like that, I kind of spaced them off a little like this. And I did that for a couple of reasons, one major and one kind of imaginary. Uh, the real reason that I did it is because uh, normally when I've done shiplap, like on the house, it's vertical. So those channels are vertical. So if you get water in it, it's gonna, you know, gravity's gonna have a tendency to kind of pull it out of there. Here, it's horizontal, water could pool on there, and I'm a, I'm a little concerned that I don't want having wood next to wood and water kind of wicking up in there and, and rotting it out. So for that reason, instead of having them right up on top of each other, I put that little bit of a gap in there. Uh, one downside of doing that is that, you know, you don't have as much support behind these little, uh, you know, lips here. So, um, you know, oftentimes in these videos, I'll talk about something that I'm doing, this is the way to do it. Uh, this is an experiment and I'm, I'm trying it out. So uh, that, that was the reason I did it. The one kind of fake benefit is that there, there are little cracks in there and insofar as it's supposed to be a drying rack, I guess a little more air can move through there, but that's incredibly negligible. The real reason I did it is I just don't want water pooling and not being able to dry. Um, what else? Uh, I also uh, added this little uh, two by four pressure treated piece here. There's a two by four pressure treated piece of flooring here. I put this on the front and nailed it in to give this thing a little bit more rigidity. Also, this is gonna be the main way in and out while this and the other thing once. But by the way, I, just because this looks a little weird without knowing this, eventually I wanna put a deck over this whole area here. Uh, you know, I'll talk about that later, but the entry is gonna be here and there's gonna be a deck that's, you know, it's not like, you know, this isn't you know, the, uh, the, the plan for long-term. But this is where you're gonna go in and out. Uh, oftentimes you're going in and out in the winter time. You know, it's a woodshed, you're getting firewood. You know, and you might wanna kick your boots off, so I wanted something good to kick your boots off there other than, you know, three quarter inch boards because, you know, they're not super strong. Uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about was that the pile of three quarter inch, uh, shiplap boards that I used on this uh, was set aside from the house. They were the ones that were kind of messy. Uh, you can see on some of these, there's some staining here, there's some mildew, some little strap marks. There's like mouse turds and things like that, uh, that on there. Uh, these are the ones that were less beautiful. So I set them aside for use here and I kind of wish that I'd gone through the pile um, when I, I started, because this is kind of the front of the woodshed. It's the most, I mean, it's only a woodshed, but still, this is the front of the woodshed. Uh, and I started from the bottom, and as you can see, the boards kind of get prettier as you go up. So I wish I had kind of gone through the pile a little bit, because I kind of remembered that they were all like the messy ones, but the top of the pile is like the worst of them, and they're like right on, right, you know, up in the front. Granted, I guess this will get kind of covered by some of the decking anyway. I can sand it off, but it was something I, I wish I'd done. If you do something like this and you got a big pile of boards, it might be a good idea to kind of go through it and, you know, confirm like, you know, which are the good ones and which are the bad ones. Because, you know, this board here, it would have been nice if it had been on the back. But, I'm, you know, I'm not going to pull it. I'm not going to move it. It's not a big thing. Though it would not be a big deal. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. It's just a woodshed. Um, so, yeah, a little damp today, a little damp tomorrow. Um, and the plan for this, I'm putting them up unsealed. You know, when I did the house, I sealed them and then put them up. I'm doing it the other way around this t uh, time because, A, it is going to be not that big a deal to paint because it's it's not super tall like the house so I, I, I put the wood seal on later also I got to do all the sanding on these guys and additionally the amount of seal that I have left from the house is not necessarily enough to do this and the last couple projects on the house I did set aside a couple of the nice nicer boards for finishing up like the entryways I don't know if you can see from here but there's still like uh, reflective foam paneling there were some more boards I needed for the house I separated those out got them all cut to size they're all placed I know that I have enough to finish the house and I also want to use the same seal that I did on the house because sometimes you get a little bit of a different mix in there. So I want to keep that same bucket, finish up the house with that, and I'll buy a new bucket for this. So uh, I'll, I'll be doing this later on. It probably, it's probably like a next summer thing. We'll get like a little dry spell. The whole thing will dry out, and then I'll just take a ladder and, and hit it. But uh, yeah, a little bit damp, but still getting things done and uh, still moving forward. That's it. Thanks for watching.